Shirley. Each of you blew up homemade bombs in your childhood and set off fireworks. The most important thing is to move back. Firstly, so that you don't get hurt by the pyrotechnics. And secondly, because from a distance, the show is much easier to see. Sometimes adults also blow things up, but for completely different reasons. Fortunately, mankind hasn't yet reached space in this regard. But what if it were to happen and someone blew up the moon with nuclear weapons? Before I talk about the possible consequences, it would be nice to figure out how it might happen. A nuclear explosion is not just a huge ball of fire and dust, as many people may think. When it happens, radiation is released, as well as a huge amount of thermal radiation. Try to imagine that you're in the Sahara Desert, right under the scorching sun, surrounded by a ring of fire. Are you feeling uneasy? Well, even this cannot fully describe the amount of heat released during a nuclear explosion. Needless to say, fatal radiation exposure affects all living things within a certain radius. But that's not all. Special attention should be paid to its shock wave, which blasts everything in its path. The strength of its impact can only be compared to powerful tsunamis that destroy entire cities. But the destroyer here is the sharp change in environmental parameters. At first glance, it may not seem so scary. However, for comparison, consider facing a strong wind. If that sounds uncomfortable, imagine how unpleasant it would be for those within the radius of a nuclear explosion. And now, a few words about how it all unfolds. Thermal radiation and a shockwave destroy everything first, after which radiation finishes the rest. Interestingly, such a sequence of events is relevant only for explosions on the Earth. Outside the Earth, everything is a little different. In the 1950s, scientists from NASA studied how a nuclear bomb behaves in space. In the course of the research, it turned out that due to the lack of atmosphere, there was neither a typical mushroom cloud nor a blast wave. It would be tempting to rejoice at this, if not for one but. Radiation. Under a vacuum, it propagates several times faster than on the Earth. So, if a powerful nuclear explosion occurred near our planet, then humanity would definitely not be well off. Now, let's imagine that someone is still able to lay a nuclear bomb in the bowels of the moon, and the explosion has no worse consequences than on the Earth. If the explosion turns out to be weak, our satellite will split into several large pieces, and then, instead of one moon in orbit, there will be several mini-moons at once. Just imagine how the night sky would change. The mechanics of the solar eclipse would also change. Separate parts of the moon would no longer be able to form together and block the sun. They would simply pass one after another. But what if you make a real mega explosion? To do this, you'd have to collect about 4,000 Tsar bombs, the explosive force of which would be equal to 234,400 megatons of TNT. But here, it's important to remember that no one can stop Earth's gravity. Small fragments of the Moon might simply attract to our planet and begin flying around it, like other space debris. As for larger pieces, this is a little more serious. Thanks to the Earth's atmosphere, larger fragments will leave orbit and fly towards our planet with tremendous speed, hooking a couple of satellites with them, after which they'll collapse on cities. Humanity has already had several encounters with space objects. Remember at least the Tunguska event and the Chelyabinsk meteorite. But the consequences of falling lunar debris can be much worse. By 2020, humanity has learned to survive some potentially fatal events. So there's a chance that people would survive after such an event. Imagine that we could wait out a moonfall in bunkers, dungeons, or caves. But what awaits us next? Nature comes into play. More precisely, changes in nature. 
If there's no moon, the ebb and flow of the tides will be negligible. Nutrients and oxygen will move weakly across the oceans and other bodies of water. It's likely that many rivers and seas won't have currents, and their water will begin to stagnate like a dirty aquarium. And if you've ever kept fish, you know perfectly well what happens if you don't clean their home. All living creatures inside perish. The same fate could befall the marine inhabitants of the Earth if our satellite disappears. Next, every animal that eats fish will die if they don't find something to eat in time. The natural order of things to which we're accustomed will collapse. The length of the day will change. Add here that without the moon, the axial tilt of the Earth will lose stability, which is why the climate will actively begin to change. The moon is a good stabilizer for our planet. As it is now, the axial tilt is 23.4 degrees. With the disappearance of our natural satellite, according to scientists, this figure will increase to 45 degrees, and the cold poles will no longer constantly be cold, and the equator will no longer constantly be hot. For this reason, the chance for a new ice age to arrive cannot be ruled out. Moreover, this whole event could repeat itself in different parts of the planet every few thousand years. It's unlikely that we'll think about the eclipses disappearing and the night becoming darker. No one will have time to admire the sky with complete chaos all around us. This scenario is really scary, and not only for us ordinary people, but also scientists. This is why, in 2016, the Milamos Project started operating. Its creators insist on developing a generally accepted guide with certain rules. They'll be applicable to the military use of outer space in peacetime. This further strengthens the 1963 law prohibiting the use of nuclear weapons in space, their transportation, and installation on space objects, including the moon. So even if someone had the crazy idea of blowing up Earth's natural satellite, they'd have problems with the law. In fact, we're incredibly accustomed to the moon. We follow its cycles, scare each other on full moons. We monitor the effect of phases on the tides, ebbs, wave heights, and other phenomena. Nature arranged everything in an ideal way, so that all of the above works perfectly in unison like the best watches. However, scientists are constantly asking more and more new questions related to our satellite. What happens if you move the moon out of its orbit is one of them. This question began to interest researchers at about the same time they began studying the use of nuclear weapons in space. Having said this, you're probably wondering, right? Studying the issue, scientists came to the conclusion that to change the orbit of the moon, 1.5 million times more TNT would be needed than what is available in every country on Earth combined. In addition, in order to move the moon, it would be necessary to use the correct trajectory to launch the weapons. Otherwise, it would all be to no avail. It's worth noting that there is a connection between the moon and atomic explosions. In 1945, a bomb of just 21 kilotons of TNT was detonated in the desert of New Mexico. As a result, a green radioactive glass called trinitite formed on the surface of the ground. Scientists from the University of San Diego have studied it and compared it with samples taken from the surface of the moon. According to the content of zinc and a number of other elements, the materials were very similar. These studies suggested that the modern moon was formed when the Earth collided with a celestial body the size of Mars 4.5 billion years ago. As a result, a huge amount of energy was released, which melted the surface of the moon. Thus, the Earth has already tried damaging the moon, but it survived without even leaving its orbit. We hope no one in the world would ever dream of purposefully bombing our natural satellite for their own needs. The moon has already shown its resilience in one situation. However, 
this collision occurred in natural conditions. An artificially created and targeted explosion could be fatal for it. Like the video? Then remember to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell as notifications for new videos are coming soon. And stay on top of the latest developments. Until next time.